Libations, which is our show about mixology. And again, I'm Ethel Andrews. I'm a mixologist bartender. And on a recent show, we discussed at length about glassware and the importance of using appropriate glassware, although you don't have to have, again, a whole collection of barware to do it right, because a few glasses will pretty much do for everything. But idyllically, it is nice to have more glassware for each appropriate drink. And we also talked at length, very importantly, about keeping your barware and your glasses clean, about washing them thoroughly, rinsing them thoroughly in hot water, and air drying them, because they will air dry rather quickly. And then if you need to make the glassware cold, if you're serving beer that is a lager or a pilsner, you may wish to do that. Certain cocktails that you would like to serve very, very cold, it's good to do that also. But barware that is really, really clean, the glassware, will not show any traces of spots or streaks if it's done properly. And that's what we want to accomplish because, again, we don't want to pour beer into a dirty glass and have no head on the beer and no visible little pearl strings of bubbles coming up. And worse yet, having that with champagne, that would be terrible. And we made mention on that particular show also of redoing and recreating certain popular cocktails that are perhaps a bit too sweet for the palate of someone who is a true cocktail aficionado. We know certain drinks like the Fuzzy Navel are cloyingly sweet and they appeal ma mainly to people who are just starting to enjoy cocktails, amateur drinkers you might call them. And again, they don't appeal to people who have an educated palate and have learned to really savor finer cocktails and finer alcohols. But there are things that we can do to still keep them a worthy cocktail, but not so sickly sweet and cloying so that they don't appeal to an educated palate. And we're going to talk at this particular time about redoing, in fact, the so-called fuzzy navel. And the fuzzy navel generally involves just peach schnapps and orange juice over ice. So, of course, you're going to get a cloyingly sweet, in my view, disgusting tasting drink. But if you do a couple of things with it, it will be so much better and so much more palatable. And what I generally do is, of course, we do have to use orange juice. And I prefer at times to fresh squeeze it out of oranges, but if you want volume quickly, you can use a good orange juice, a good quality orange juice, not a reconstituted one. And instead of using peach schnapps, if we use a peach infusion, because it has no added sugar, that makes the drink so much better. And to make it have a bit more potency and make it a bit more adult, you might say, we can use vodka in it also. And for expediency's sake, it's always easier, especially if you're making drinks like this in volume, to use a shaker before we dispense it into your typical um, barware. And in this particular case, I believe that this drink is best exhibited if we serve it over ice in the chimney glass, which is good for tropical drinks and for any particular mixed drink where we want to display the appearance of it nicely. So we're going to do that very thing. What we're going to do first of all, however, is put a little bit of ice in the shaker so that things are kept cold. And then we are going to um, shake everything up, fill the glass with ice, and dispense it into the glass. So I tried to store my ice here so that it would keep nice and cold without use of um, a bar refrigerator. So we're going to go ahead and try to get things rolling here with the remade, hopefully better, fuzzy navel. Trying to save myself from bending over here, especially since some of the viewers find that a bit gauche, which it is. Okay, so anyway, what we're going to do first of all is we're going to go ahead and put some vodka 
into the shaker. And then we're going to go ahead and put our peach infusion. And you may find after everything is mixed together that it's too dry for your palate. If that's the case, you can put a little simple syrup in it or bartender sugar. But we're going to go ahead and put peach infusion in it. And then we're going to go ahead and put our orange juice in the shaker. And as I already mentioned, we want to use an orange juice that approximates um, fresh squeezed orange juice, not uh, reconstituted orange juice as we would get, you know, in the frozen section. And we want to go ahead and shake this up a bit. And for those of you who would like to do it the other way and just do it in the glass, you may do it that way. But to me, this is so much more expedient and easy. And we'll see again how this remade fuzzy navel turns out. There we go. Now, garnish-wise, there's a couple of things that we need to do. First of all, we want to put a bit of orange in this drink. And we want to use an actual piece that looks like a quarter of orange in the drink. And we'll go ahead and squeeze that in. And we want to leave a little bit of a garnish in here. So we're going to cut a piece off of that infuse the oil out and actually leave it in the drink. And one thing I'm going to mention too, if you want to make a twist of orange, you may. And probably the easiest way to do it for many people, although not necessarily for me, is to use the end of a potato peeler. And that way you can get yourself usually a twist off of citrus fruit. And this way you don't get too much of the um, white bitter part on it. And again, you can get that infusion of the oil, twist it around a bit and drop it in. Frankly, that is a bit more appropriate for martinis when you're using lemon or for certain drinks that um, require lime, the same principle. But anyway, this is hopefully a far better tasting fuzzy navel. So we can still make it for people who like it. And but we we can still drink it ourselves without gagging on it because of the high sugar content. And I'm going to go ahead and taste this drink and see if it lives up to the hype that I gave to it. Oh yeah, in my particular view, this is far, far superior to the original fuzzy navel. So. Anyway, keep that in mind if people request a drink like that. And if they insist that you make it sweeter, once again, you can add either bartender sugar or you can add um, simple syrup of your own making. And to make simple syrup, you basically use the same volume of water as you do sugar. And you boil it up, cool it down, and that way you can keep it stored in a jar and use it. And it will keep that way, and you can use it over and over and over again until you run out of the contents of the jar. So that makes it easier for those who want the drink sweeter, but to me that tastes so much better than the original Fuzzy Navel. Kind of a silly name. At any rate, thank you again for tuning into another episode of Good Libations, which is our show about mixology. And all of us here really value our community. And we also value people having more respect for consumption of alcoholic beverages and not overdoing it, not breaking the law, not making fools of ourselves and ruining the good name of ourselves and our family. So help us and uh, to all cooperate and drink moderately and keep our community safe and well spoken of. Again, I'm Ethel Andrews, a bartender mixologist, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of Good Libations, our show about mixology. <laughs>